It's time for Brewster's Breakdown, and we're looking at the biggest game in the country, undefeated Tennessee at undefeated Georgia, a one versus two matchup for the top spot in the SEC East. Clint, how ready are you for this? This is the game of the year. It all comes down to this. Let's go. Yeah, Sanford Stadium is going to be popping, and the Georgia defense has its work cut out for it, trying to slow down the most productive offense in the country. The Vols averaging almost 50 points a game, and putting up a little over 550 yards per game. And we're taking a look at some of Tennessee's best plays this season to help you understand why Josh Heupel and this offense are so successful. Clint, starting with LSU. Yeah, I'll show you how they engineer some of these deep shots. So uh, Tennessee's an 11 personnel right here. Uh, LSU has a free safety over here. There's also a wide, wide split receiver down here. So this free safety has a lot of ground to cover. Uh, the, the tight end goes over, goes over to the weak side and they have a three-man route concept to the boundary there. And Jalen Hyatt has a free release off the line of scrimmage. He's able to get past, get past the safety right here. He's lined up one-on-one -on -one with the safety. And Hinden Hooker just delivers a great ball over the top. He's the best deep ball passer in the country. He just throws a, a, a pillow. It's like uh, dropping out of the sky right into his, right into his hands. It's, uh, it was a great throw. You mentioned those wide splits. That's a staple of this Heifel offense. The TV broadcast can't even get some of these wide receivers on camera because they're split out so wide. But how does that affect the defense uh, when you're stretching them horizontally? Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of field to cover. And, they, and Tennessee loves running the in-breaking routes at the top here to the boundary on the weak side again. They run an in-breaking route by the wide receiver. And the cornerback here at the, at the top, you'll see he's – He's confused. He, he goes with the in-breaking route that they've done so well um, hitting this year. And then Jalen Hyatt with the, the switch route at the beginning, um, it really confuses the cornerback there. You see the cornerback, he doesn't think anybody's over the top. And see, there's Jalen Hyatt. That's one of the reasons why he's, he's been so effective uh, uh, deep down the field. And those deep balls to Jalen Hyatt, Hooker wasn't hitting those last year against Georgia. So major area of improvement for him there. But also, as we see against Alabama, improvement here in his post-snap reads. Yeah, you see ownership at the line of scrimmage. That's, that's the word that I keep coming back to is ownership. What he's seeing pre-snap. You see here, it's a light box at the beginning. And then this safety comes down late, which makes it a heavy box. So you, you don't want to run the ball into that heavy box. And then he throws it behind the safety in the vacated in the vacated uh, area that the safety was in. And that's what Hinden Hooker has been doing so well is just seeing everything post-snap, seeing a secondary rotation, post-snap blitzes, all of that he's seeing simultaneously at the line of scrimmage. And, and uh, he's just running the, the offense like a well-oiled machine. And you know, a really overlooked part of this offense is the run game. 26 rushing touchdowns, almost 200 rush yards a game. That's top five in the country. Not only that, they're running the ball 57% of the time. So there's a volume there too that I don't even think people realize because the only highlights we see are, you know, the air mailing it. Um, how important is it to have a run game for this offense to succeed? Well, you want to have balance. And, and you see the run game has been so successful because they're able to spread out the defense and, uh, and get nickel, nickel coverages, uh, five, five defensive backs on the field. Great to run the ball into uh, in the nickel coverage for sure. And Hendon Hooker, with the way he's been running this offense, it's no surprise he is actually now the favorite to win the Heisman. But that's not the only history he's chasing. His numbers, he's projected to pass Peyton Manning's sing single season records at Tennessee. So not only would he be passing their most famous alumni, he might be the first to uh, win the Heisman too, which is something Manning also didn't do. All right, this was Brewster's Breakdown. Thanks for watching. And for more content like this, remember to like this video and subscribe to the 24-7 Sports YouTube channel.